guys. It's currently Monday morning, Monday the 15th of May. I swear, you know, the older you get, the faster time just seems to go. I swear, when I was a kid at high school, you know, the days just seemed to drag. And the years just seemed to drag. But as an adult, it just seems to fly pie by rather not pie. I wouldn't mind a pie. Anyway, uh, I had a busy day Saturday-ish. I've uh, had a tidy up here in the lounge at least, and a bit of a sort around in the bedroom, or a bit more since the last video. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment. I've got a red version of one of these, also a steady burn, I think, um, and I've also got a cage that a lamp like this would go in, not necessarily this exact style, but just one with this style of lens. Well, any of that sort of size will go in this cage and two batteries and all I've had to do is pay for the postage so I'm looking forward to receiving those and I will show you when they arrive um, they're being shipped out today so they're going via my Hermes so my Hermes has, us has usually touch wood been pretty good for me um, actually the only problems I've had with them is uh, picking up parcels that I'm posting out which I don't need to worry about anymore because I've got a parcel shop in town at last. Never used to. <laughs> Nearest one was like eight miles away. Which is why I always book them to be collected. But uh, usually when my Hermes deliver it to me it's usually th three days, three to four days. So I should get it Thursday, maybe Friday, it depends. Sometimes I've had parcels dropped off like two days after they've been shipped. So we'll see. Um, I've also got a parcel down here on the floor to open all the way from. Well, I say all the way from, it's not actually that far. Not as far as I thought either. Uh, Cambridge, which is. A couple of hours drive up the road from here ish depending on traffic so uh, that's from a site called Kuru Kuru Pop they do lots of other things like anime and all sorts on there so yes they are my little pony plushies and we will open them in a minute uh, no, in fact I'll do that now so I can uh, Get you off the tripod and uh, show you exactly what I've done in the lounge. What I've got up that end of the lounge now, I've got rid of that cabinet the stereo was sitting on. I've got a chest of drawers up there now. The chest of drawers was left at the end of the block, someone had thrown them out, so I went and nabbed them. The only thing that was wrong with them is that two of the feet had broken off. So I just unscrewed the last two feet and sat it on the floor. Now I've got uh, extra um, drawer space to declutter some of that bedroom. Anyway, the first one to come out of here. I ordered two because these were $13.99, not including VAT. By the time you throw on VAT, these were about £14-£15 each. Free postage, or 50p for first class, so I just opted to pay the extra 50p. Um, I ordered these Thursday and they arrived today, so that isn't bad by my book. Obviously it's a new site, so I was a bit sceptical of using them. I think I'm just sceptical of using any other source other than the one I'm used to, which is eBay. That's probably why I use eBay so much. But we have here, this is apple fritter. 
I've been wanting to get her for quite some time. Because I think I can say she's my favourite apple relative of Apple Jacks. So I've now got Apple Fritter. And because of the price, I thought I'd actually treat myself to two. Now, I wanted Sweetie Belle. She was out of stock. So, I opted for Lotus. Lotus Blossom. There she is. Two new Ollie Factory plushies for my collection. And in the show, she is one of the spa ponies, and I can't remember the name of the spa. I actually can't it's completely slip my mind. Um, and there's another pony at the spa. That's the reverse colouring of Lotus here. She's got, instead of a pink mane, she's got pink fur and a blue mane. And the, the complete polar opposite to Lotus here, and her name's Allo. Um, I don't know what the story is with them two, if they're sisters, because they've got some very similar cutie marks as well. This one's actually come out a little bit weird. Do you know what I'll hunt player look? I've actually noticed as well that not all of these Ollie Factory plushies are uh, identical in shape either. Some of them do have different... She's got a slightly different nose. She's actually got quite a squished nose. <laughs> I don't know if that's just from packaging or what, but... Actually, I don't think much of the... Stuffing has got an inter nose, I think that's what that is. Maybe if I, uh, just, uh, oh, that's better. There we go. I squeezed a bit of stuffing into her nose. May have just got squished when it was in storage, you know. So, uh, there we go. I think next time I get paid, I might see if Sweetie Belle is in stock. I really didn't think that the, um, Main Depot was actually going to be that close. I think I'm just used to buying things on eBay, you know, that's like hundreds and thousands of miles away across the UK kind of thing, but yeah, this is actually in Cambridge, which uh, is just down the A11, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've actually travelled that road, it's been years actually. Right, I'm just going to take you off the tripod so you're going to put up with a view of my arm for a moment. Unless I decide to edit this bit out, which is not likely. Because <laughs> I'm a lazy sod. There we go. Let's move the tripod out of the way. Um, <laughs> the guy who's sending me this, uh, that red lamp and other bits... <laughs> Sent another message back saying, I don't know where you're going to put it because you haven't got a lot of room in your flat. Actually, no, I haven't, but I have. I am decluttering slowly. Anyway, I have made room in the bedroom, but I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the uh, chest of drawers, and the top one, I'll just throw in my tapes and CDs. And I've got other bits I want to... Just chucking it. They're just going to be junk drawers, basically. Because I've literally just got so much crap laying around and nowhere to put it. So, I'm coming to the bedroom. Yeah, as for the lamp, I could stick it up there. I've made some room up there by uh, hanging these lamps. Or... If I shove those two uni lamps back, I can stick it on there. So I've got, still got a bit of room. Um, and once I've got this cabinet sorted, 
and in place. I'll have that shelf free as well because I'm going to put all those PC games on here and most likely those DVDs. Uh, ooh. Excuse me. Yeah, and I think I'm going to put that up this corner so I've got to clear all of that later as well. If I decide to do this today, I might not. I had wanted to go down to the shed and uh, have a little rearrange in there, but I'm not sure I'd be bothered to do that, so I think I might stick to uh, just sorting the general crap out up here. See if I can find uh, oh, all my battery charges for my cordless drills and whatnot are going to go in one of those drawers. I think my odd books and my little pony magazines can go in one as well. Uh, I've actually got some tool things that could sit on that bottom shelf out of the way. Uh, I think I'm going to stick to that. I think I'm just going to uh, put a load of bits in these drawers. Uh, I've got some Lego books up here. Do you know I bought that last year and I still actually haven't looked at it yet? The 2017 annual. You'd always get the annuals out just before Christmas. Right. That's my Lego book. That's the Lego Ideas book. some sticker books I think just under there the runners are a bit loose I'm actually tempted to see if I can get that drawer oh bollocks to it I'm gonna excuse me oi <laughs> I don't know Will you get out of the way? <laughs> Stupid bloody... Will that go in that way? Oh yeah, they will. Good. It actually smells like toiletries or something were uh, kept in this. Right. Two more books under there. Those are sticking on the floor for a second. So I've got these two over here. There we go. Right, yeah. Sticker books. I have no idea what happened to that one. The corner's been uh, torn on this one. I don't remember doing that myself. Mm. Never mind. Whoop. Right, let's stick that one in there as well. Whoop. Uh. I can't get up there yet, can I? Oh. Poxy cones doing my head in, but I can't get in the shed at the minute to put it down there. A rarity here. I'm going to take rarity back through here. Ouch. Door there. I'm not exactly sure where to put her yet. Will she actually stand on the end here? She will indeed. Right. Want a home for that as well. Maybe up that corner out of the way. Alright then, I'm going to continue sorting things out up here and I will talk to you later on today. Right, I've been pretty productive. Mostly in the bedroom and I'm actually toying with the idea of hiring a skip although a friend of mine has just offered some help because I've just got so much clutter especially in this outside cupboard and down in the shed that I think some of it needs to go
So, yeah, I'm going to see what options I've got on that one. Anyway, this is what the bedroom's looking like so far. I'm not done, I'm just, I'm getting ready to go and get some food. I think some saveloys and chips from the chip shop in town is in order. But uh, it's starting to look a lot better in here now. I've got a rubbish bag to take down. I've got that printer to take down. Uh, managed to empty some of the carrier bags that were sitting in this cupboard here. So I've got some room in there as well. Um, got three motherboards up here to go up there. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. I've got a box of stuff in the hallway just the other side of that trash bag that I'm not sure what to do with yet so I just chucked it in the box. As you do. And just some random crap on here. But I've got all my DVDs and PC games on that. Well I say all. I've just got those ones there to move. That's freed up some more shelf space and to me that does look a lot better. Uh, I've got those two monitors. I want to check make sure they work uh, at some point. <laughs> the adapters for them is probably one in there. I only want one just to try them. <sighs> right. At the end of this video, I'm going to put two clips up that I recorded yesterday. One of the garden at Mum's, because my stepdad's been rather busy. And it does look a bit like a building site at the minute. Uh, and the other is of me just playing with Peggy, the little Jack Russell, because I took my laser pointer over yesterday. So I'm going to stick those clips on the end of today's vlog. Right, yeah, the chip shop's not quite open yet. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So there's some bits on that trailer I want gone, some off cuts of wood and whatnot. And that piece of strimmer thing. Weed whacker, if you prefer to call it that, I'll just call it a piece of shit. Because <laughs> it is just a piece of shit. <laughs> it's aluminum. It could be why you did a scrap metal. I might get a pound for it, scrap, if you were lucky. Right, so when I go down, I've got to take that. There's that box of stuff. I'm probably going to sit that on the landing. Um... The reason I wanted to hire a skip, it's only 90 quid for a little one because that's all I'd need, but I really need to go through that cupboard because I've got, I don't know how many friggin' power supplies in there and I don't really need that many. I've got a computer case under here, i.e. that one that I want rid of. Uh, I'm go through that box of laptop bits up there because I don't think I really need anything up there. Uh, I've got umpteen bike parts to go through both up here and downstairs and now that I don't go to the recycle centre I haven't had any bikes to repair and fix up and whatnot so I've just got all these parts and no idea what to do with them. There's a lot of them that are just broken and crap and I'm just hanging on to, hanging on to and I'll never do anything with them. Never. There's back wheels there that I haven't got an axle in because I think oh, I'll keep that, I'll put an axle in it. Chances of me doing that are extremely slim. 
Well, probably because they're buried in that cupboard. Maybe if I actually go and get them and attempt to put the axles in so I can make them good back wheels because they're always the ones you need for a bicycle. Nine times out of ten. Mainly because all your weight is on the back wheel and people do wheelies and whatnot and it's your drive wheel as well so it gets put through a lot of shit that back wheel so those ones I will possibly keep but anything buckled anything that looks too rusty too shit it's just gonna go because I'm just sick to death of it I'm sick to death of the clutter I need to declutter I don't know why I went quiet there. <laughs> right. So I'm going to shut the camera down here. Head round to the chip shop to go and get something to eat because I'm getting hungry. I wonder whether to get some curry sauce with it. Do I get curry sauce? No. No, I don't feel like curry sauce. May not even get savloys yet. I don't know. We'll see when I get there. I might treat myself to a large piece of cod. We'll see. I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to go and do that and get that rubbish bag downstairs out of the way, so talk to you later. Right. Face stuffed. Well, I've been sitting here for a couple of hours, though, because my butt hurts. <sighs> I wouldn't wish hemorrhoids on my worst enemy. I really wouldn't. I don't think I actually dislike anyone enough for that. <laughs> oh, actually, I haven't said that. I could think of two people. <laughs> I've got itch. I hate getting an itch around my nose because then I th go to scratch and I think people are thinking I'm picking my nose or something. I suppose at the wrong angle, it probably would look like you're picking your nose. Oh, fuck you, Firefox. Can't be asked. <laughs> gone and froze on me. Right, so the rubbish sack has gone downstairs. I've got a new one in the bin. We are... getting somewhere quite rapidly now. I was looking at the down site less cluttered. I've got more stuff to go. The only problem is, I've got a friend of mine who I got that Stingray bike off of and all these computer bits from who's said if I, you know, take a photo of everything that's got to go, he'll give me a quote on what he'll charge to take it because he does clearance and whatnot. Which is fair because I wouldn't expect him to do it for nothing. But if he can do it cheaper than 90 quid, I'll do it. <laughs> Um, that box of cable, I'm not sure what to do with that. I don't want to sling it on the car boot or in the bin or what to do with it because I've just got, I've still got shed loads of cable down in the shed. Absolutely shed loads. Oh, I've put an LED bulb in here as well. Look. <laughs> it was in the lamp in the Lego cupboard by the door of the, by the lounge door. Blah, 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 blah. Jesus, man. I could barely type today either. I've made, I don't know how many typos today. Stupid typos as well. <sighs> Never mind. It's going to be chilly, you know. Right, I need to go and lock the bike up. And I'm going to take... Where is it? This printer down as well. Nemo's having a look around. Uh, toolbox up here I'm going to get rid of. I've got some spots or something that itch like hell right on my waistline, so my waist of my jeans rub against them, which doesn't help. Uh, I virtually have no room under the bed now because I've stuck another couple of tubs under there out of the way. So I was pissed off at having them up there. Um, I've got a computer table that can go. I don't know if that is something my friend could sell because. 
like I said, he does house clearance and office clearance and things like that, as well as selling plants. Um, but obviously anything he gets in that's worth selling on, he sells on. So I don't know if that computer table I got would be of any use to him or if he wouldn't be able to shift it or whatever. I'm just sick of seeing it, <laughs> basically. Um, hmm. I'm going to measure one of these panels up so I can stick it on the end here. I'll just look, make that end look a bit tidier, that's all. Measure it up, take it to Mum's and get my stepdad just to zip the table saw straight through it. And just remember to put the cut end on the floor. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I think I've done pretty well today. That's like a proper photography light. I think I paid five pounds for that out of a charity shop. And uh I've got this old lamp stand. There is a video buried far back on my channel actually where I got this and uh, made a sort of like a crude lamp with it. I don't know what it's like with this LED bulb in, I haven't turned it on yet. You see it came with all of this and whatnot so I literally dropped the cable down the middle. Uh, I can't remember where, but there is a connector block somewhere there, because the cable wasn't long enough. Where I joined on this bit, it might even be down the bottom, I can't remember. And just basically made a lamp, so it's got the switch up here. If I really wanted to, well, I don't think I actually had any at the time. Because I was thinking I could have glued that in place, but I just wrapped some PVC tape just to hold that there. <laughs> Simple, made sure I had enough slack there. It just clamps, it's one of these ones that just clamps, you see. That's why I grabbed it. It's, whoa, tripping over the fan. Rather dusty. I did have a dirty old sock somewhere that I was using as a duster. Here it is. <laughs> I don't know where my actual dusty cloth went, so. I'm going to turn this. I want to go and store this in the lounge because something like that might be better for when I'm filming at the Lego desk. That's what I was thinking. Try and put that into some use, but I don't want to grab it one-handed because uh, even though it screws in here, it's, uh, and here, I don't like to pick it up like that because I did it earlier and it just pulled straight out. I've got it to screw back in, but I don't want to do it again, so I have to do that with two hands. I'll tell you what, maybe not. Can I? Oh, I can. I don't want to lift it too high, though, because I've got low ceilings. I've already nearly stuck this through the ceiling. I don't know how many times already. I've got some duck to get it through the door. I'll go up this end to plug it in and... Uh, Son of a bitch. Just letting the plug drag across the floor and it's got stuck right in the corner of this computer. Look. There, it's not stuck on there anymore. Right, Whee, up we go. We're not on. We are now. Ooh. It could do with being brighter, but it's certainly spreading the light well. well. It's actually quite bright to look at it. But it's not designed to take big bright bulbs anyway. It's only a small Edison screw in there. As you can see, does it get hot? Nope. 5 watt LED. I don't know if they do any brighter in the small Edison screw. I'll have to have a look. Whoa. Yeah, because of the way that reflector is. So, what would that be like? The 
it's certainly making a big difference, isn't it? it certainly looks like it is on my screen. Cool. I think I earthed this because of metal. I can't remember. I think I did because of the um, connection in there. I actually, I may have actually just wrapped the block. Oh, we've got neon up the end there that actually comes on off when it blizzards. Oh, there we go. It's got a loose connection. Right, from that, I'm guessing Nemo wants food. Bless him. Call this the last part of the video then I think because uh, there's no coming up to 7.30 so I'm not going to be doing anything else. Not really, I might just have a bit of a general tidy up in the bedroom for now. Uh, see the problem, I want to sort the shed and the um outside cupboard out up here but I can't because I've got nowhere to put the crap I mean I could actually chuck some down in that trailer for now but that can only hold so much um, yeah, we'll have to see I think we'll have to see was Nemo. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. What's this? What's this? Mm -hmm. ah, I've got your attention now, haven't I?
following me around as usual.